to Anthology's video training. Today we're going to talk about basic cash register training. Hopefully you've had a chance to see the cash register training in three minutes or less video, but if you haven't, we're going to do a brief review now. From the video, you may remember step number one was to enter a SKU. You need to tell Anthology what the customer is purchasing. Step number two, select the F3 Take Tenders button. Step number three, select the tender the customer is paying with. Step number four, enter in the amount that they're paying. And then step number five, complete the sale. Don't forget, press any key to continue so the screen will clear and you're ready for the next transaction. Just that easy. We went over that kind of fast, so let's do it again in a little more detail. Step number one, enter a SKU. Tell Anthology what it is the customer wishes to purchase. To do that, you're going to enter the SKU right here. When you enter the SKU in here, Anthology is going to look for that inventory record and then enter it into the cash register. We want you to understand what a SKU is. It's an inventory record identifier. It's how Anthology knows what record to bring in to the cash register. There are different kinds of SKUs. There are SKUs for books and there are SKUs for non-books. Now, the SKUs for books are pretty straightforward. It's the ISBN numbers. You need to enter that in, either ISBN 10 or ISBN 13. That's what's going to bring up the book. For non-book, you might have a UPC code. You may have words or numbers or any combination of words and numbers. There are three basic ways to enter a SKU into the ISBN SKU field. One of them is to scan the barcode. That seems straightforward enough, but we want you to know a little bit more about this topic. For books, you want to look for the EAN13 barcode. Not everyone knows what an EAN13 is, so we're going to take a closer look at that. You also would find a UPC barcode for non-books. Okay, the EAN13. What makes it an EAN13? Right here, you'll notice there's a 978. All EAN13 barcodes begin with a 978 or a 979. What you're seeing now on the screen is a UPC barcode for non-books. And you probably recognize that. That's pretty straightforward. And you know that the barcode you're working with is not for books. Sometimes you have barcodes that are a little more confusing, particularly on the book. What you're looking at the screen right now might seem like an EAN13 because you can see the ISBN number printed right up here above it. And they'll do that on books. They'll print it above the UPC barcode or below it, and that will confuse the cashier. But look over here in the bottom left-hand side. It does not begin with a 978 or a 979. So if you're entering a book into the cash register, do not use this barcode. Some people will say, well, there is no EAN 13 on the book. Chances are they didn't look in the inside front cover because that's where it's at on some of the books. Another way you can get a SKU into the field is to hand type it in. Don't forget, if you do that, to hit enter off the keyboard. You can also select an item in the inventory assistant. You would bring up the inventory assistant, search for the book that you wanted, and then go ahead and hit enter to enter it into the cash register. Step number two, select F3 Take Tenders button. You can find that on the screen right down here, F3 Take Tenders. The next step is to select the tender. You can see the tenders are listed over here on the left-hand side. Find the correct tender. Go ahead and click in the checkbox next to it, and a green check mark will show up. Now, if you're using the keyboard, you can up and down arrow and then hit enter on the tender you want to choose. Once you've done that, you want to enter in the amount. To enter in the amount, you're going to enter it in down here. And Anthology is going to prompt you with that by highlighting this field in blue. Once you see it in blue, just go ahead and type in the tendered amount, or if the tendered amount is correct, go ahead and hit enter off the keyboard. Some people want to pay with multiple tenders, so they're going to pay for some of it with cash and say some of it with credit card, or any other variation you can think of. You want to do step three and step four until the total due is zero. Step number five, complete the sale. So the complete dialog box will appear and you need to select it. Once you do that, you're going to see a message that says, Press any key to continue. We're keeping the transaction on the screen for you for as long as you need. If you need to make change or you need to talk to the customer about the transaction they just did, it's still on the screen for you. We don't know how long that's going to take. 
press any key to continue and the screen will clear. Okay, now that we've talked about it, let's go ahead and take a closer look. Here's the ISBN SKU field we mentioned before. You want to put in the SKU of whatever the customer is purchasing. So that's going to tell Anthology what it is they're buying. That SKU, you want to do it one of three ways. You can go ahead and hand enter that SKU in. Remember to hit enter off the keyboard. That's an important point. Many people want to click on the ellipse button to the right of the field, and you don't want to do that. You're, you're telling Anthology to bring up the inventory assistant rather than searching for the SKU. So once you've typed in the SKU, hit enter off the keyboard. It's going to flash over here on the left hand side and automatically come over onto the right. So that's one of the ways you can enter into the cash register. Another way you can enter in a SKU is by scanning. So let's go ahead and try that. So you scan the number in. Remember to look at the screen before you scan the next item. So you're going to pick up the next book, find the EIN 13, and scan it. Pick up the next one, find the EIN 13, scan it. Looking at the screen, making sure all is good, pick up the next book, find the EAM 13, and scan it. Next one, scan it, and so forth. So you can see how that can go pretty quickly when you're at the cash register to use a scanner. Another way that you can bring items into the cash register is to click on the ellipse button and bring up the inventory assistant, find the item you're looking for, and enter it in that way. So if I click on the ellipse button, the inventory assistant appears. There's multiple ways to search in here to find the items you're looking for. Once you find the item you want, you're going to go ahead and select it. It's going to come into the cash register, go over the right hand side. So that's step number one. Tell Anthology what the customer wishes to purchase. Put in the SKU into the ISBN SKU field. Step number two is to click on F3 Take Tenders. When I do that, I can see the tender types show up on the left hand side, and now I'm going to tell the customer how much they owe. Total due is $105.83. So how is the customer paying me? Let's talk about multiple tenders and use that as the example. Let's say the customer wants to pay by check. Notice that I have my mouse up here. I'm clicking in the check box, and a green check mark appears. Then down in the amount tendered field, 10584 appears. Step number three, select your tender. Step number four, put in the tendered amount. Let's say they want to pay $50. Five zero dot, enter. When we do that, you can see the, the tendered over here is $50. You can see it down here, total tender, $50. Now, total due, you can tell the customer that'll be $55.84. I'm always looking here and not down here because notice that in this black box, the total amount has not changed. So this is where you tell the customer how much they owe. Let's say they're paying the rest by their visa. And instead of using the mouse, let me show you the keyboard. I'm going to use the down arrow to go ahead and select the tender that I want. I want visa. I'm going to select enter off the keyboard. That selects the visa. It fills in the amount tendered for me. That's step number four. I click on enter to accept it. And because the total due is zero, so the total due here, zero. That's how Anthology knows to bring up the complete dialog box. I select complete. Anthology processes it, and then notice how the press any key to continue shows up on the upper right hand side. So we're going to press any key. Now the screen clears, and we're ready for the next transaction. Using the cash register is easy and intuitive. If you have any more questions, please feel free to come to a webinar, look for more videos, call tech support. And that concludes this training on basic cash registers. Look for more videos on cash registers coming up.